Oh, that's right, baby. It's time for J Rocks. For Don't Breathe 2, no rhyme intended on that line. It's time for J Rock to answer the question which one he thought was better, the movie or the trailer? You know what we gotta do. Come on back so we can talk this thing. Hi, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J Rock is here, and we're about to uh, answer the question: Which one J Rock thought was better for "Don't Breathe" two? All right. If this is your first time on the Great Ones channel, you don't want the movie spoiled for you. All right. Make sure you go, uh, go and watch the movie. Come back, and then answer the question: Which one you thought? What's better, the movie or the trailer? Now you might be wondering, what is a movie versus trailer review? Well, J-Rock says this. J-Rock has often seen trailers to movies and was hype pump and had very high expectations that the trailer has set for the movie. Case in point, last night's Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Make sure you go and check J-Rock's reaction to that. That trailer set very high expectations for the movie. And now the question can, has to be answered. Can the movie live up to the expectations set by the trailer? Because oftentimes, some movies cannot. And you wind up saying, wow, the trailer excited me only to be let down, all the way down, by the damn movie. So that's why J-Rock does a movie versus trailer review. You can go on all other channels all over YouTube. They can break down the movie left to right. But what they can't, what they don't do, I'm not going to say can't, what they don't do is they compare the trailer to the movie. And that's what J-Rock is going to do. He's going to do just that. It's the brainchild of the most electrifying YouTuber in all of YouTube tame men. All right? And so, uh, let's do this real quick. You got a reaction request. You want some J-Rock. J-Rock to react to something, movie, trailer, whatever. Drop it down in the comment section below. I choose your request. I'll give you a shout out on the Great Ones channel. All right? Now, let's check this trailer. Now, J-Rock says this. This movie was very straightforward, okay? Got to the point. Wasn't a whole lot of up and down, but ebb and flows. This movie was just quick and to the point. A lot of gore in the movie, okay? A lot of times where you were like, oh, 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 okay, all right. However, the movie was straight and to the point. Now, for those of you who saw the first one, you saw the first Don't Breathe, you know what this man is going through. You know what he lost. If you ain't seen Don't Breathe 1 or the first one, go check it out. You know what he what he lost, okay? We know the young lady, the little girl in this trailer, ain't here. We know that after watching the first one. We know that. The question now becomes, who is she and where she come from? Like, how in the last one you ain't had nobody and now all of a sudden you got, you know, I mean... Did he kidnap another woman and, you know, inject, y'all you, you saw the first one, inject her with the nice baster? You, you, if you smell what J-Rock is cooking, um, what happened? Where'd she come from? Let's go through this trailer and let's see if we can find out. Now, right here is towards the endish part of the movie, right? He's on his way because the young girl gets kidnapped by the folks who broke in the house, okay? They're not who we think they are. Okay, they're not your typical kidnappers, okay? But, if you stay tuned, you'll figure out why one, like J-Rock was glad the kidnapper showed up, but then glad he went to go rescue her. So right here, this is the part of him going to rescue uh, the little girl. And this is, and you know, he, he broke in, you know, he's doing his army thing and you know, slicing and that. And so this part right here is kind of cool. Okay, using the feel, to feel the water move, bang, right there. This part, right at the beginning of the movie, she's being trained. At first, I thought she was being chased. Obviously, you wait a, a minute or a, a second or two, you'll see all part of his plan. All right, so dog obviously is right there. Um, but yeah, that's literally right at the beginning of the movie, all right? Training her. Now, for those of you who watched the first one, you know what he lost. And because he lost that, he don't want to lose it again. 
okay? So he is very strict with this young girl, all right? Like, they, like she can't go nowhere. She can't do nothing. He has to keep his eyes, well, his ears and nose or whatever it is he uses to know where she is at all times, okay? This is the beginning, all right? All right, so this is the part where he's being overprotective. See, home safer. He's real. He's real protective over her. All right. Now, in case you're wondering who this little girl is, let's keep watching. See if we can figure it out. All right. So that was the, the woman who you know helps out, brings the blind guy groceries and stuff. Sometimes he lets her. He's like the only one. Let her go. Take her out. You know. Go do some stuff, hang out or whatnot. And then he brings her back, okay? But, you know, she's being followed, right? And they, and you know, the guys that are following her uh, end up, well, check it out. This setup. Yep, yep. They followed her home, followed where he lives, and now they showing up. Now, those are two different scenes, obviously. The dog didn't see them. All right, two different things, okay? Shut up. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Self-explanatory. Break in the house, he feels the presence. Now, this little girl does a damn good job of hiding and seeking with these, you know, robbers or, you know, invaders. She does a damn good job. But at the end of the day, she's still just a kid. What? You're coming with us, kid. There you go. Get the girl. It's not me, you need to... All right, so this part where you know he's telling her to be quiet. Now, listen very carefully to what this guy said. Be scared of little girl. The man standing next to me. Now, I don't know who he is, but I know who he's not. Now, the guy who just said that, very, very important, okay? Why is he showing up and what is he talking about? It's very, very, very simple. J Rock says this he is her father. The little girl, you at the beginning of the movie, there's this big house fire, okay? House fire, just, 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 house going up in flames. Blind guy finds a little girl, I guess, on the, on the, on the side of the road, on the curb. I don't know what happened to her, okay? But, She's laying down on the side of the road, okay? He finds her, brings her home. Apparently she has amnesia. She don't remember her name, who she is, where she's from, and none of that. Okay, he gives her a new name, right? Uh, I can't remember what her name is. It doesn't matter what her name was! But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, he gives her a new name, tells her, you know, he gonna protect her and all that good stuff. Well, daddy finds out where she is, and he comes to get her. And this is where I kind of turn on the blind dude. I'm like, you. so you just, you just taking folks' daughters all willy-nilly? You just think you can just run off with somebody else's child? As a father myself? Oh, hell no. I'm not having that. Mm -mm. You got my daughter and I know what she is? Oh, you damn right I'm coming to get her. You damn right I'm coming to get my girl. And I'm laying the smack down on any candy ass in my way in the process. Okay? Let's move forward. <laughs> All right, so they try to burn him alive. They they kidnap the little girl. Father tells her who he is and who she is, okay? Now, there's a part in this, uh, let's see is it, if it's in the trailer. Remember this part, he, you know, he's doing his Rambo, he's getting his stuff, you know, he's getting ready. You know, he's gonna go and whoop some candy ass. Let's check this out. All right, so here's part of the movie where I was glad the daddy showed up to come get her. Because that's your baby, go get your child. Now, this is the part of the movie where I'm glad the blind guy goes and got her, okay? Apparently during the house fire, her mother, okay, got injured or hurt. And now she's dying. I guess her heart is failing her, okay? And so now, for those of you who know anything about heart transplants, you just can't get anybody's heart old with a nipple, right? You need a specific, 
man, mud type, art type, all that stuff. There's one person, one person. And J Rock means one person who's a match for the for the mob. You guessed it, little baby girl. So what's gonna happen here? Obviously, mom ain't gonna just 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 just, just take the baby's heart. Well, the house that was going up in flames at the beginning, it was a drug, it was a drug house, okay? And that's the mom and the dad's, you know, bread and water. That's how they, you know, feed themselves. You know, that's their dough, that's their paper, okay? All right? And so, and the, the mom is the cooker. She cooks everything, you know, she gets all the drugs ready, right? And so, if she's gone, so are the drugs, no drugs, no money. So they gotta keep her alive. And there's only one person who can keep her alive, baby girl. And this is where I'm like, okay, no, no go get her. Go get her, go get her, okay? Cause you this other way around. It's the John Q situation, you know what I'm saying? The child needs to help. The dad said, I'll sacrifice myself so my child can live. You live, I'll, I'll you know, see you on the other side, all right? Not this time. Mama's like, uh-uh, I'm living, you go to the other side. Uh, and this is why I was like, okay, you need to go get her, okay? Go get baby girl, because they finna do some, some, some things to her. And so he shows up, he's whooping candy asses. He said that in the first one. You know, this game, this game of cat and mouse goes where, you know, he's, you know, stealthing and uh, taking out guys one by one. Yep, right there. He's taking everybody out. And so, this is toward the end, he and daddy going at it. Both of them end up, well, you, the blind guy, I think he died. I think he died. But I don't actually remember seeing him die. Right? I don't, I don't see him die, right? So I don't know if he's actually dead. So I'm not expecting a Don't Breathe 3, but I wouldn't be shocked if we got one. I'll put it to you that way, okay? Yeah, he's right, right here. They think he's dead. He took them all out. How he know where to aim. We'll never know. Okay, so now, J-Rock says this. Which one was better, the movie or the trailer? The ending was kind of sad. Uh, the little girl, you know, because the blind guy tells her, go get, get away from me, you know. You know, go, go get away from me or whatever. I can't remember exactly what he said, but he just said, get your candy ass out of here, all right? You know, don't have nothing to do with me, blah, blah, blah. And so now mama's gone, daddy's gone, and the, you know, the blind guy's gone. So she ends up going to some, I guess some orphanage or something where the kids were. But it's kind of sad. Um, like I said, don't be shocked if we come from a Don't Breathe 3. I'm not expecting it though. With that being said, J-Rock says this. Which one was better, the movie or the trailer? In this particular instance, because the trailer was damn good. I'm gonna have to go with the movie. The movie did live up to the expectation set by the trailer. Some gore in here, you know, uh, there, was a, there was a scene where the guy's nose and mouth was glued shut and he couldn't breathe, right? And so he had to broke, break a piece of glass, right? In order to get, he cut his lip open, you know, reminiscent of Saw 4, the beginning of Saw 4, the guy who had the stitches, he had to rip his mouth open with the stitch. Yeah, that was, whew, that was, that was, that was gory. But with that being said, J-Rock is going to go with the movie for this one. The movie lived up to the expectation. Damn good movie. Definitely is going to watch it again. Uh, just make sure I ain't miss anything, but really enjoyed it. Now, what say you? Do you think the movie was better than the trailer or was the trailer better than the movie? Post your comments down below and let J-Rock know. Alright, if you enjoyed the Great Ones movie versus trailer review, 
that like button, subscribe, and share. And be sure, hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell what J-Rock is cooking.